crazy thing, there hasn't been a good show since Delete Your Shorts. Yeah. That was the last good show. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome <laughs> to the comment show. Uh, the only show on College Humor where we, where we respond. Uh, actually, the only show where we even remotely do anything like this at all. So yeah. it's kind of weird that I say that. As always, I'm joined by two College Humor writer performers. This week, it's Emily Axford. Hi. Brian Murphy. Hey. All right, let's just, I think we just roll right into it. Yeah. yeah. Moving on to two sports bras. Two sports bras. The latest innovation in female athletics. Raz144 writes, one, wear a bra. <laughs> Two, wear a sports bra. Three, wear a tank top. Four, stop your bitching. <laughs> From a girl who's been busty since she was some age. <laughs> yes. Maybe smartly cut. <laughs> yeah, smartly cut. Okay. I've been busty since I was eight. It sounds more cumbersome than wearing two sports bras, actually. Yeah, well, because then you got wires in there, and then you're mm -hmm. like, running around with wires in there and cutting up at your boobies. Which this are... is weird logic because it's saying like, you don't need a new invention for this. We already have like three other things that could be that. Why use cups? Why not use a big spoon and then put a piece of paper around it? Yeah. And then put liquid in that. Stop uh -huh. your bitching. I read on BuzzFeed that if Bart Simpson were a human, he'd be 37 years old. We are so old. Stop saying you're old, written by you. And Dan? Girl. And Jen Gerwich. Alfie Owens writes, I'm 12. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 12. I'm old. I agree, Alfie <laughs> Owens. Pretty smart yeah, dude, kid. Alfie, seriously. Pretty sharp 12 year old. Yeah. I like him. I'm 12. I'm old. He's. I mean, he's probably looking at those 11 year olds with <laughs> I just everything want to, say, to gain from the world. You have even... so much pain to experience yeah. in your life. You haven't got to the painful totally. part yet. Like, You're it, about to. Is so there okay. a more 12 year old name than Alfie Owens? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Elf Jones. Pixie two four four says nineteen ninety three rules. <laughs> Why? Agreed. Oh, uh, Jurassic Park. Uh, spin Doctor is top in the charts. <laughs> uh, I believe August and Everything After by the Counting Crows came out in ninety three. Waco, Texas Acid was wash uh, <laughs> yeah. Not, I do have nice memories of ninety three. You know that was when I you know I was like I, I was nine or ten. I don't remember exactly. I'm trying to think what, what I was doing. I was like. Enjoying Power Rangers. 21 years ago, though. That is pretty long. This, you, listen, that was a long time that ago. That was, dude, we're so, dude, we're so old. old. Cool Doll says, to be fair, our generation will probably not live as long thanks to various factors, like all the shit we put in our air and food. So 25 could be the new 40. What's the, what, how'd you define it's that? It's like a little sad face. It's kind of like, mm, it's, like it's kind of like, mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait, can you do it again? It's kind of like, Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh god, now I, I hate this know. comment. I mean, I just saw Food Inc, so like, I'm kind of on this train, mm -hmm. you know? That Here we is, go. You know, god, so, I mean, if you think about it, suddenly minutes. the corporations have us by the ball. Here's the thing. <laughs> no, I mean, we're definitely getting unhealthier, but even as, as fast as we're getting unhealthy, Medical science is finding new and perverse ways to keep mm -hmm. people longer, long past when they should die. Also, like, what's worse for you? Like, eating some fucking GMO or like or my lighting. grandma smoking while being pregnant with my dad. But you know, do your part, you know, uh, join a CSA. Go to a <laughs> why don't you just, uh, Why don't you just pick the next card here? Knobster Damas, another good one. Knobster? Knobster, <laughs> it's a good one. Uh, I'm only 20 and every time a new Pokemon uh, comes out, I feel old, shut the fuck up. I haven't played with a DS since the hottest game around was Nintendogs. When was that? Can, there are World War II veterans who are still alive. And you're old. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of cologne. Yeah. Okay, so this is water balloon versus cologne balloon. I can't Unscripted it. video. Okay. Press spark to continue. Piss or lemonade? <laughs> I think that's a legitimately Sequel. like. Well, no, because we wouldn't piss, just piss, piss right? Like, I like this as another water balloon, though. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just, <laughs> just a piss balloon. <laughs> But also lemonade, because like, oh, I'm st like, it's a it's a lose lose. Just one lose is so much worse. Yeah. Like, well, I'm sticky, sticky with lemonade. And one, you're like, well, I mean, urine can be cleansing, right? I personally don't really have a problem with urine. Yeah, I would do I would do water balloon with piss or lemonade because I would get piss on me. I, I think I would do this. I think I would do this. Yeah, I think I would. We do this should too. not commit to it because we'll start like we'll get the fucking call sheet tomorrow. Piss or lemonade? You'd have to drink it. No, no, no. I, as I'm saying, I, I know that. Yeah, I still yeah, think it's funny. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't do that. Balloons. I'm not gonna drink pee. Would you rather get hit piss. with a water balloon full of someone else's piss or drink a full glass of your own piss? Uh, the water former, balloon. The water balloon. Absolutely. Really? You yes. take a glass of your own piss. I'm... Murph also pissed in the pool this weekend. Um, he thinks it's le he thinks it's to rude to it. not say God bless you. 
but not rude to piss No, you can say pool. Gesundheit, just like, you know. Well, yeah, but he thinks he's like, oh, no, it's rude if you don't say anything, but then he thinks it's not rude to piss in the pool. Take a stand. A pee hotel. in the next... Comment below if you pee in pools. <laughs> Please tell me I go to Eva's pool party next week. <laughs> I'm just well, not now, now, I, now I can't pee in it because I feel bad. <laughs> pools aren't that big of water. They're man. like, they're full of chlorine. It doesn't make your piss But it's piss. all like a mental thing. If this whole glass had been full of piss, and I just drank it and didn't know, and it tasted great. I wouldn't care if someone. Okay, so by that rationale, <laughs> if you're cool with other people peeing in the water, then you're already cool with like being exposed to other people's piss. So what? What over your body? So why would you not? Because want it's, to, in, a get giant, it's it in a giant. It's in a giant thing of chlorine. <laughs> Ed Withers writes chloroform versus ammonia. What? What's? Wait. That's pretty. That's, that's basically like, saying don't they both another make you pass out? die or die. I assume this would be like an inhalation one because you would die yeah, if you drank either of these. If it's an inhalation thing though, don't they just both make you pass out? If you mix ammonia with bleach, it's poison. That's a big no-no when you're cleaning. That's, well, this I, person's just trying to I guess them. like I don't want to do this one. Yeah. However, this is one. <laughs> this one. <laughs> this is what Murph pours in his pool <laughs> to make it rem after <laughs> it goes in with all the shit going on in the pool, guys. Aren't you afraid of that? Isn't there that chemical that makes pee red when you pee in the? There's That's like, so fake. It's not a real myth. thing. Merv has tested myth pools busted. across the There's country. There's no way. <laughs> I would have ran into it by now if that existed. Uh, Jumpy Plum 9613. Tea or bong water? Ah, oh, that's a great one. It's tea disgusting. Or yeah. Tea, tea or, or bong, bong water. water. Oh. That's so if gross. If they both have a tea bag in them too. <laughs> yeah, I almost might do getting hit with pee than drinking bong water because that's really gross. Bong water's pretty foul. They're all, they're all gross. That's the point of the game. Like, it really bums out stoners more than anything if you tip over their bong water <laughs> for some reason. It does smell and it's gross, but it's also just water. Yeah. yeah. Ah! Everyone's- <laughs> Definitely the color. Yeah! Okay, Let's move on to YouTube closed captions, also written by you, and Adam. And Adam. Sam Ram De Best writes, Now do it again with a closed captioning one, and then again, and again, and again. Uh, it's funny yeah. you say that. I believe that was kind of. That's what we we tried yeah, to do it a second time, but the uh, but because we were using like the words that it's prone to recognize, it just it once just you do it once, it, yeah. it was like way too accurate. I wish we could have done it more times. I'm kind of glad we didn't because that was so brutal it was to shoot. Really hard, yeah. Like it was just it especially because we shot. did it one shot. It is really funny to be like, hey, you know how you're gonna have a series of lines that are confusing and maybe make no sense? Mm -hmm. Let's do it in one shot. Did Adam actually mail Dan? A beef Gerwich Forest script or something. He yeah, took Adam, a picture of it. Adam uh, wrote uh, like the title on the title page of a script, like B Beef Gerwich Four, written by Adam Conover, and then texted Dan a picture, like hoping to rile him up. Did but Dan respond? Dan was so gracious. He knew that it was a joke, so he was uh, just like, "Oh, I miss you," and he sent like a really nice, sincere text back. Ooh. I was like, "I miss you guys. Tell everyone I'm thinking of them." You suck. One one eight seven. It understood Shakespeare incredibly well despite messing up everything else. Apparently YouTube is an intellectual but not quite a man of the people. <laughs> that, is that is true. Very, yeah. very true. We, we definitely like got, saw the closed captions and it's like once it kicked in, it was like, it just like understood every single thing from the mm -hmm. sonic. Because we put the sound in there, we're like, oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna trick him. What part did it jumble the most? I think the funniest jumble was it changed the op from, uh, op. Oh, oh, from Open yeah, Goblin yeah. style to well, well. Yeah, well. that was great. <laughs> well, 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 I'm gonna style. The UK ASMR says, love it when college humor talks about ASMR. <laughs> All right. <laughs> person really likes ASMR. That's right. I think last week that was one of the videos. Last episode we talked about the video we wrote, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. ASMR. Now, this is getting, now we're really down a rabbit hole. Well, what's cool about this is that this seems to be from um, some sort of UK-based ASMR-like yeah. thing. For Americans, I know, a lot of people, when people have British accents, that's a big trigger for a lot of people when it comes to ASMR, like an old man with a British accent or a girl with a British accent. I wonder if British people like American accents when, no. when they listen to ASMR. Well, actually, I always, I've always thought that. I'm always like, oh, I should move to another country so I'll be the like the cool exotic one, so I can like walk in and be like, "Hi, can I get a coffee?" And they'll be like, "Wow, hey, where the fuck's my coffee?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. From Scrooge McFuck, one. <laughs> Great name. Uh -huh, the Scrooge part. Um, <laughs> <laughs> one. I'm glad you guys like my name. Two, a lot of people took what I said as serious when I, actually I was just being sarcastic. Scrooge McFuck wrote like a sort of ironically, uh, well now, now it can, now is 
confirmed to have been an ironic uh, like rant <laughs> against the very video in which yeah. we rant against. So things. what we've learned is that Scrooge McFuck mm -hmm. has a um, a very clever sense of humor. As soon as I heard the name Scrooge McFuck, <laughs> I knew we were on the same I page. I knew. Totally. Yes. Also from the comment show, James R. writes. The diamond rings and the circumcision videos are the best. Please make more informative videos like those. Talking, of course, about Adam ruins everything. Yeah. Engagement rings, Adam ruins everything. So this everything, was written by Adam Conover, yeah. I guess. Or Adam Probably, Conover's yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm, good news. I believe Adam is hard at work uh, ruining another thing that we all love. So What will it be? You're in luck. All right, that's it. We're out of comments, which cool. means we're, this comment show is officially over. Uh, thank you, Emily. Okay. Thank you, Murph. For being Thank here. You. Uh, Thank yeah. you, Nobster and Scrooge McFuck. Yeah, yeah, please answer some of those questions we asked, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can comment on our various videos, and who knows, maybe we'll read them on this very show. Democracy. Democracy in, in action. action.